In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve, graph, and give interval notation for an inequality. The inequality we're going to attempt to solve is 5 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 11. Solving inequalities is very similar to solving linear equations. The only difference we have to be careful of is while we're balancing on the inequality symbol, if we divide or multiply by a negative, we will have to flip the direction of the inequality symbol. Let's take a look at how that plays out as we solve this inequality. Instead of balancing through equals, we're now balancing through greater than or equal to. We solve just like always to get rid of 5 positives, we get rid of it with 5 negatives on both sides of the equation, or inequality. This leaves us with negative 2x is greater than or equal to 6. Finally, we get the x alone by dividing both sides by negative 2. Notice we're dividing by a negative. When this happens, the inequality symbol will have to flip directions. Instead of greater than or equal to, it's now less than or equal to. x is less than or equal to negative 3. We have solved the inequality. To help us give interval notation, we'll first look at the graph of this inequality. At negative 3, we're going to see a closed circle because this inequality is not just less than, it's less than or equal to. Because it points at the x, it means we want to be less than the number x is less than negative 3, and we get smaller numbers off to the left of the graph. In interval notation, then, because it goes off to negative infinity on the left, we have negative infinity, comma, negative 3. And while infinity always gets a curved bracket, we notice that the negative 3, because it's or equal to, will get a square bracket. This tells us that if we pick any number between negative infinity or negative 3, including the negative 3, because it's or equal to, and plug it in for x, we'll get an equation, or an inequality, sorry, that is a true inequality. For example, if we use negative 10, which is certainly smaller than negative 3, negative 2 times negative 10 is n positive 20, plus 5 is positive 25, which is greater than or equal to 11, like we want. Solving inequalities is very similar to solving equations. We just must be careful that if we multiply or divide by a negative, we will flip the inequality symbol. 